years, the city of Vallejo has been digging up streets to install a special cable line. But only now are the people there finding out just how valuable that cable can be. News Center 4 Sue Kwan joins us now live from Vallejo. She has more. Sue? Well, they started installing this cable line seven years ago to operate a time signal light system around town. Now, it takes four of the small fiber optic threads within this cable to operate that system. But that leaves another 20 high access, high speed threads left unused and underground. Um, I'm, uh, Dennis Brinson has discovered an underground Vallejo, so gold mine that he believes can change Vallejo's economic future. And this is a chance uh, with this new economy type of companies to provide high paying jobs that would keep people not only living here but working here. He is holding a map outlining this where city a, crews have buried the treasure, fiber this optic cable. Of, to my uh, surprise, the, this grid covers the entire city. <laughs> uh, it's something that has just had the potential. It's just awesome for connecting the residents and schools and businesses here uh, to really put Vallejo in the internet age and connectivity. Essentially, this shows that the entire city of Vallejo has fiber optic cable underneath it. Yes. Well, More shocking to Dennis was the fact that the city installed the fiber optic cable to run timed signal lights. An 11 million dollar government grant paid for the traffic technology that Dennis Brinson believes can handle so much more. This one and a half inch uh, conduit can handle over 500 fibers itself. We have in the city of Vallejo uh, a system that in, in most areas uh, have three inch conduit uh, so we have vast potential vast potential not only in offering residents high-speed internet access but also in luring the high-tech industry to Vallejo. Old Town Vallejo could use an economic boost. Several of its storefronts and office spaces are vacant. Director of Economic uh, you know, Development Al DeSelva. We have space here. We have a lot of portfolio available not only in the downtown area but across the straits on Mare Island we have very brand new development opportunities coming up there for the business industry for the high tech industry. He has set up a city technology task force to find out how the fiber optic cable can be used. Dennis Brinson wants it to bring him high speed internet access and more economic growth for his hometown. Now, to give an idea of what this is capable of, one of these small threads can handle 100,000 phone calls compared to the one phone call that a copper wire could handle. Now, the city does want to see this cable put to good use, but it has to make sure it is legal for it to do so because the money did come from a government grant. Wendy, back to you. Oh, yeah, legal is good. Okay, thanks a lot, Sukwon.